Welcome to tutorial number three. This is the PowerMail for Joomla Pro user setup. What you're going to find is that you go to the user screen here under PowerMail for Joomla and when you first set up PowerMail there are no users noted. Now the nice thing is that you don't really need to set up any users because users will be populated automatically when they send an email to one of the accounts. Here we have set up redbud at powermailforjoomla.com and so I'm going to go ahead and send an email. I have this on one minute intervals. Uh, let's go ahead and send an email here to the redbud address and we'll send a test email for starters like that. Now uh, when the email comes in, for some reason Gmail is taking a little while here, but when the email comes in, um, here we go, it's gone. Um, you tweak the front end of the site and uh, the crone every minute will pick up new emails. So let's go to the content and see if it's arrived. We can hit retrieve content as well as another way to retrieve this email and still has not arrived. Let's give it one more minute here and see if we've got any content here. There it is. So here we have uh, the content. Now let's go to the users and we're going to find out here we have a user. So the user populates automatically with an address of admin at powermailforjoomla.com. It tells the date that the email came and here's the name. So we can edit this now by clicking here or on edit and we're going to notice that it gives a name. It shows my email name um, and then I'm allowed to change this person to a power user or not and this has to do with the use of power tags which we'll explain in a later tutorial. If you have a Joomla user we can associate this with the Joomla user here such as the administrator and then that will tag the articles uh, as written by the administrator. Uh, we have an option to publish to um, uh, publish the content or just use the parameter settings. Uh, <clears throat> for instance, if you have a user that you don't want to publish his content, you can say, no, I'd never want to publish this content until I check it. Uh, but if you trust and you have everybody publishing or if you have a user that you know that um, can be trusted, then you can publish this content. Right now I'm leaving it on global. And then this is really powerful. You can have a user having a section and category of his own. So if you want to set up a blog for a certain person with their email, uh, you can set up their own blog just for this email. Here's the email address that came in. And then going down to some of the more advanced controls, you can actually set a certain user to have uh, all of his articles going to registered categories or public or the special categories or using the account or the global settings for this particular control. The HTML option is whether you want the HTML to be included or stripped. Um, stripping the HTML may be helpful if you're getting problems with uh, users sending different fonts that make your website look um, all mixed up. Um, you can send somebody's articles to the front page, not the articles that have already been received, but this is for new articles that are coming in. Right now I have it on global settings and I think my global settings are off, but if I want this users to always go to the front page then I click yes. Uh, for a read more, we have uh, one global setting for when that read more will be placed automatically, um, but this would um, make sure that this user always gets the read more placed or never gets the read more placed unless he's using a power tag which we'll explain. Um, the settings for images we're going to go over later um, in, in a different tutorial. So this is the basic setup for uh, a user. Um, as I said the, the big message is that the user will get set up automatically uh, once an email comes. Um, Let's check one last thing as far as parameters. Um, and that is uh, another tutorial that we're going to talk about, but that is 
that users will be checked against the whitelist and the blacklist. So if you have an email address here that I put in admin at PowerMail for Joomla on the blacklist, I will never receive that email. It will come to the email box and when the crone goes to pick it up, it sees it, deletes it, and you'll never know that it came or went. Um, so blacklist will totally, those emails will disappear. Um, a whitelist would be a list here if you enable it we can allow certain um, users on your website to be allowed in or a certain list of who you want. If you click no then everyone is going to come through uh, that sends an email to that account. Um, I think that's all for now uh, for this tutorial.